Or I could sing it in song. And you've had to open air preach. I could do. Repent, believe the gospel. Hood two. Do you know where you will go when you die? Jesus said that he was the way, the truth, and the life. John 14, 6. Do you believe this? Whisper is heaven. Whisper it back. Yeah. Omnisphere. How do you know this? This is so interesting. Would you call yourself a good person? God told me. Okay, I'll leave him with that question. Oh, this is interesting. Sorry, I don't feel like talking about religion. Okay, good night. No, I'm not. I won't be going to heaven. Yes, be, because we have all broken God's laws. But God sent Jesus to die on the cross, taking the punishment we deserve so we can go free. Extend it quick before you <clears throat> Go to needgod.com for more info. Have a good night. Good night. Boom. Look at that. Wow. Pray for somebody called Omnisphere. Omnisphere. That's so cool. It's amazing how, how people will say that they're going to hell. You know, they just admit it. I'm going to hell. This is because we all have a conscience which condemns us. The Bible says this, that our conscience accuses us or excuses us. That's what you have. People quickly admit, I'm going to hell. And that's terribly sad. It's terrifying, actually. Or they're joking about it. Or they're joking, they're making light of it. This is a good place to evangelize. Lots of people yeah, here. Yeah, do you think he actually, like, engaged with you? You know, like, he doesn't seem to be, you know... Well, it's hard to tell on the internet, isn't it? Yeah. You know, you can't really see facial expressions. That's why I'm keeping the conversations very, you know, short, because it's just, it's hard to know. We're planting seeds, what we're doing. Let me tell you a story, everyone. A lot of people think Beowulf, right, the ancient Norse epic poem, was created by Christians. The reason they believe this is because it mentions the deluge, which is the flood, and it mentions Cain and Abel. But what's really interesting is that it clearly isn't Christian because it promotes things which aren't Christian, such as looting and raiding. And it also has pagan gods within it. But what makes it really interesting is that Tolkien in Lord of the Rings use this as inspiration. So a, a lot of the, the terms that we, we get, for instance, orc. Orc comes from the um, Scandinavian languages, which just means uh, monster or terrifying creature. So he, got, he listed where these names came from because he, he studied ancient languages. And a lot of people mistranslate Grindel. They'd call it a troll. But if you look at the etymology of the word, it clearly is talking about a, a, a physical creature, a dragon. Beowulf is about a pagan guy killing a dragon called Grindel. And uh, this makes sense within the biblical worldview, the biblical narrative. It does make sense from an evolutionary perspective because dragons are supposed to have died off millions of years ago. Another thing that's interesting is that they trace their genealogies back to uh, Woden, who were, where they eventually deified as Odin. And the entire Norwe Norwegian peoples trace their genealogies back to a man called Sheaf, which is Japheth, the son of Noah. Sheaf is the son of Noah. And uh, that's a really interesting investigation so i recommend that you look into that there's a book called after the flood by bill cooper that explains this in detail get your hands on that book it is a fascinating read that's my story wow i feel like i've just been just been educated you have been that is the history of world warcraft right let's see how else we can evangelize in this place yeah I should probably explain because you said that according to evolution dragons were supposed to have died millions of years ago and he I think by that you also mean dinosaurs, don't you? Dragon, dinosaur. Yeah. yeah so Dragons was just what dinosaurs were called yeah. in olden days, before the word dinosaur was invented. Yeah.